Okay, this is Brandon. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of setting up a Google site just for the purpose of showing how easy it is. You can see on this page, all I've done here is click on sites in my Gmail account and I can click create new site. This shows me all the sites that I have already so I can click on any one of these and manage those particular sites and or I could create a new site. So I'm going to create a new site and I can use a blank template or I can browse the gallery. If I use a blank template it just shows different colors essentially just what's what's available. If I want to use a gallery that's essentially community driven s templates that people have created. So I'm going to choose gallery. The template just essentially is blank and then you choose any one of these kind of colors. There's like maybe 50 or 60 different backgrounds, you know, schoolhouse, whatever the different colors are. But I'm going to choose uh, Browse Gallery because I'm going to make a little bit more specific site. And then here I can look up whatever I want. So I can look up if, if your organization had site templates, they would be here. And or you can look up all the public sites. So these are all community driven. There's not very many. There's only a couple sites that Google actually put in here. The rest are just modifications of the different templates or fresh templates by, by people. So you can look up by section. So you could say, I just want the featured ones. And then it's going to show kind of the top, the top sites that are, that are useful. So and I've built some, like the, there's a neighborhood site here, this neighborhood site that I built before. And if you click on that, you can see a preview of it. And then once you select it, you can you can start using it. So I'll look at see if there's another one that makes sense that I'm doing. Um, and you can search. There's thousands in here, so you can search. I mean, some of them are garbage, but others are are fairly decent. So I'm going to just do a um, search business and collaboration, and go like to internet, and then see what I get. There's a few. There's only like really three, two or three variations of the same site, but they are, you know, fairly useful. So here's corporate internet and internet template. So here's one. And I can say select. And once I select it, I can name the site. So I could just call it, uh, you know, internet, whatever. And then we're not going to pick a theme because we're using a template. We can use additional, there's other options, so you can categorize it. You can say who can see the site, so I want only people I specify to see the site, so I can make it private, or I can just make it public to the world. So these are some different options that are available for privatization of the site, essentially. So I just make it everybody at WPG and anybody in the world can see the site. So it, once I hit uh, create, it'll just create the site for me on the fly. And then now I'm in the site and you can see that I'm still in my account up top, but I've got the uh, tools here for the site. So essentially just puts in the exact template that I saw and there's just mock content in the, in the system already. So if I click on any one of these areas, there's either, there's just mock content in here. And all I have to do is go in and start configuring it. So I could go to calendar. The calendar is set up with just the just the blank, you know, some other G, G, Google calendar. I could just literally right click on that, go to edit the page. And then the calendar, the calendar tool here, I just go into properties and then I can configure it. I can display another calendar, hook it up to my calendar, just put in the URL of the calendar. I can change the graphics, uh, the images, the tags, whatever it's called, you know, company calendar. And then, you know, change the size of it, what, what have you. And then just save the page. And then now it's going to, you know, it, this is called, should be called company calendar, but it's, it's not, but it should be. But uh, essentially that's, that's all you need to do for the different pages. So from the usability standpoint, it's very easy because I can just go in, I can edit a page, 
make changes on the page, and then I can add like a widget to it. So I can just go insert and then go to gadgets. Here are some commonly used gadgets all throughout here. So all the Google stuff's integrated. So I can add a spreadsheet in the document, a slideshow, videos, you know, all it's kind of just native. And then I could go to the gadgets, and the gadgets are the same as the templates. There's thousands of gadgets that you can use that are created by their community gadgets. So they're embedded. Some are just embed tags. Others are um, different, inter different levels of integration. But I've used tons of the different ones, and they seem to work pretty good. You just have to find the ones that work um, properly for you. So once I make any changes to the site and save it, I can also go to um, manage the site or share the site. So if I want to share the site, I can now create lists of people that I want to be owners, collaborators, or viewers of the site, and I can invite them to the site for the ability to come in there. And then you can also see there's some additional menu options on the left here, which make it really easy to navigate. So I can change the page, page templates, attachments, different pages. Um, I can monetize the site, change colors, fonts, themes. All, all is fairly easy. I haven't gotten into the theme, the changing themes, but I have changed colors and fonts, and it's it's fairly fairly easy. But that's just a quick run through of Google Sites. Um, what makes it easy is just how quickly I could set it up. The ability for me to be able to change and edit content on the fly um, without you know having literally any ex any abil normal abilities to edit a web page. I can literally change the site in just a matter of minutes. Um, I can publish it to the world and then I can also if I want to uh, make this site you know a specific URL I can go in and, and do that as well um, and that that's fairly fairly easily done at the same time so I can change add categories later I can make landing page I can enable Google Analytics automatically so lots of different settings to be able to do I can copy this site and and publish it as a template once it's done. So um, that's about it. So next I'm going to try to create a Drupal site.